Nothing. No Big Bang. Is not, that's not the reason. You're alive because simple. Because Jesus created you. How many people here know that anime is a potential it's a potential gateway to pornography? Amen. Amen. It's the truth. I used to watch anime my whole life, dude. You can't you can't you can't fool me. You can't fool me. I watch anime my whole life. I know that most animes literally promote promiscuity, women with their, you know, cleavage hot out, and then you look it up on Google when nobody is looking. And you know your conscience is left is talking to you. You know that what you really are watching is not really good for you. But a lot of parents, a lot of parents let their children watch whatever they Jose, want. Talk, talk, huh? And then, you want to talk on the mic, man, since you have a lot to say. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm here to tell you this. That Jesus Christ set me free from pornography. Jesus Christ set me free. I was in bondage. What? And I'm no longer on my way to hell. I'm no longer depressed. I'm no longer suicidal. I look at women with respect. And that's, you guys, tell me, God won't stop evil, that's the thing. He might protect you. Listen, young lady, listen, listen. Bad stuff happens to a lot of people, but Jesus can heal your heart. Jesus can heal your heart, young lady. You guys, people blame all the evil in the world on God. You can't blame it on God. Satan, but you know why? Satan is the god of this world. That's why so much evil stuff happens. That's what the Bible says is that Satan is the god of this world and that's why there's so much evil. So young lady, don't blame the evil on God. Blame it on Satan and fallen man, but Jesus Christ can heal your heart. If you guys want peace, seek Jesus. If you want a purpose, seek Jesus. If you want to be saved, seek Jesus. If you want to be in eternity with God forever when you die, with a God who loves you, seek Jesus. Amen. Amen. What, what do you believe about Jesus, young man? Tell me. Tell me what you think. I believe that Jesus is the Lord and Savior, true peace, and the path to happiness, man. Hallelujah, bro. See, is, it, is the gospel a good message? Is it good news? 100%. It's, it's teaching you how to be a good person, you know what I'm saying? It's, and, and, and salvation. Okay, let me ask you something, bro. If you were the preacher and I came up and asked you what must I do to be saved, what would you tell me? What was that? If you were the preacher... And I was, I came up to you and I was in tears. I was like, man, I want Jesus. What do I do to be saved? What would you tell me? Give your life to Jesus. Repent. So, repent. Accept him in your heart, you know? Accept him in my heart and then what? And be a good person, though. Bro, what, and then what? Well, what should the Christian life look like? If I truly want to follow Jesus, what should my life look you like? I say spread the word. Spread the word. That, that's a part of it. Because spread the good news, but what else? Uh, 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 practice what you preach. Amen. But what, what's the basic, what's the foundation of the Christian faith? Should I make Jesus Lord of my life? Yeah. Should I believe the gospel? Yeah. Should I turn from sin to follow the New Testament? Yes, sir. Should I get baptized? No, man, there ain't no yes, sir. The Bible. There, I agree. The, the people that wrote the Bible were probably Middle Eastern, right? So, right, here, here, here let me give you, <laughs> let me give you one of these, bro. Let me give you one of those. All right, so turn from sin. Turn from sin to follow Jesus, follow the New Testament, be baptized, right? God has a, a ministry and a plan and a purpose for every one and every son and daughter in his kingdom, you guys. That's the beauty, you guys, is that the guy with the sign here, God has a plan for him. The girls on the ground here, God has a plan for you. Me, God has a plan for me. We're not here to argue with you guys. We're not here to, to cause strife, to cause a scene. God has a plan for you people. God created this place. He didn't leave. He's still here. God created this place and he did not leave. He's still here. That's why the Bible says that God created us. God's plan and purpose was, for us was to feel our way towards him and to find him. Though he's not far from any of us. Did you know that Jesus Christ is not far from any of us? The Bible says that his plan was for us to feel our way towards him and to find him. Though he's not far from any of us. See, God's plan is, God has a plan for every one of you. Every son and daughter, he wants to walk with you like a father walks with a son, like a father walks with a daughter. And I'm here to tell you guys this today, when you find Jesus Christ, you'll have found what you are always looking for, people. Every single last one of us are looking for something. And you guys, I'm here to tell you today that you, everything done in the darkness will be exposed into the light. Your secret packs that you do behind the scenes, God knows about it. 
You guys, there's evil people all around. Satan has a kingdom all around us. And those people are going to answer to God when they die. They're going to answer to God when they die. You guys, this is real. This is a real thing. This is what's happening. Witchcraft is real. Satanism is real. Death is a real thing. And Jesus Christ came that you can have life. He says that He came that you can have life and have life more abundantly. But to live that life, to walk with Jesus, to walk with the King of Kings, to walk with the Lord of Lords, to know the one true God people, it would be foolish to think that you can continue in sin. It would be foolish. When God is infinitely holy, when He created you, when He sent His Son to die for you, he when He... Do, come talk, oh, yeah. do you want to come talk on the mic? Uh, can I talk about yeah, my nipples? Sure. God created my nipples and He loves them. Can, do you want, what do you think about Jesus? He has nipples too. Alright, you can come talk on the mic. If you guys want the mics open, right? If you guys have an opinion or you want to have a real decent conversation, we would love to talk with you, right? But the Bible says this, right? The Bible says to turn from sin. If we want to be made right with God by the blood of Jesus Christ, we have to turn from sin. And the Bible says clearly in 1 Corinthians 6, 9, and 10 that homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of God. Along with the greedy people. Along with the greedy people. Along with the murderers and the drunkards and the thieves. Right? Galatians 5. Galatians 5, 19 to 21. It, it lists all the stuff you cannot be doing and inherit the kingdom of God. It says the people involved in witchcraft will not inherit the kingdom of God. That includes the new age. It says that people who are getting drunk, you can include drug abuse, will not inherit the kingdom of God, will not be saved. It says the people who are involved in sexual immorality, homosexuality, premarital sex, adultery, pornography, which is closely tied to... Uh, what's the stuff called? Anime? You guys, anime breed, it, it causes people to fall into porn. All sexual immorality is sin. You cannot be... Yeah, come talk on the mic, I'll prove it to you. I can prove it. I don't bite. I don't bite. I'm not going to let you blast him, but if you have anything to say, yeah. Jesus is real. He is real. Glory to God, bro. Do you believe in him? What, what do I got to do to be saved then, sir? If you're the preacher, say, man, if I came up to you and I was in tears, I was like, man, what do I got to do to be saved? What would you tell me? Believe in the light. Believe in the light? Correct. Okay. Is there biblical verses that explain to me exactly what I have to do? There is. You know what they are? I don't. It says this, the, bro, the foundation of our faith, right? Paul said if Jesus didn't rise from the grave, our faith is worthless. But he did, right? So the Bible says if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You will be saved. This is good news, bro. And then the other verses say to turn from sin, right? Repent of your sin and be baptized and you'll receive the Holy Spirit. So that's the foundation of Christianity. But we want to read the New Testament and follow it. Amen? Amen. Thanks for coming up, bro. Really, man, it's nice to have a good conversation. Yeah. God bless you. Thanks. God bless you. As a gay man, God bless you. Yeah. God bless you. Right? You know that 1 Corinthians 6, 9 to 10 says that homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of God, though, you guys, right? So God does love you. That That's where people get it confused. Because you hear about sin and it makes you mad and you think that I don't love you. You think that God doesn't love you. But I'm here to tell you today that God does love you. God created you. When God created the world, he said everything is good. So God loves every single last one of you. That's why Jesus Christ died on the cross for us. The Bible says that there is no greater love than this but to lay down your life for, for your friends. And that's what Jesus Christ did for you. But, but... If you refuse to repent, if you reject the gospel, if you refuse to make Jesus Lord and follow him, you will go to hell if you keep your sin. If you continue in homosexuality, you will go to hell. If you continue in drunkenness and drug abuse and anger and lying and stealing and fighting and witchcraft and new age, you will go to hell, people. That's why the Bible says to consider the goodness and the severity of God. People want to consider the goodness, but they don't want to consider the justice and the severity of God. Right? Don't go too far either way. I don't want to tell you that God hates you. I don't want to sit here and warn you about hell all day.
But I don't want to sit here and tell you about God's love all day either. Because the message is about both. You have to repent to be saved, people. You will not be saved if you keep your sin. If you continue messing with new age and living the however you want, and continuing in drunkenness and sexual immorality and being uh, uh, like disrespectful to your parents and lying and stealing and drunkenness and drug abuse, you will go to hell, people. God, Jesus will say, depart from me. I never knew you. You who work iniquity into outer darkness where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. And that is the scariest thing that could ever happen to anybody. That is the scariest thing, people. But on the other side of the coin, God does love you. God is God is, God is what you're seeking, people. You can all be saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you turn from sin and are baptized, you'll receive the Holy Spirit. God loves you. God created you for a relationship with him. And when you find Jesus Christ, you'll find what you are always looking for, you guys.